Lesson 3M, Feedback Inhibition. Recall from the previous lessons. Inhibitors act on enzymes to block the active site, so that the proper substrate cannot bind, therefore lowering the rate of reaction. We call this competitive inhibition. Or the inhibitor may bind elsewhere on the enzyme and cause a conformational change, so that the active site may still be available, but the enzyme itself is no longer functioning. This will also lower the rate of reaction by the enzyme. We call this non-competitive inhibition. There's a third type of enzyme inhibition. We call it feedback inhibition. You remember that biological reactions are grouped into catabolic reactions and anabolic reactions. As stated earlier, most metabolic pathways are multi-stepped, as seen in this three-step example. Feedback inhibition is where the buildup of a product, say here a product D, has an inhibitory effect on an enzyme earlier in the pathway, possibly enzyme 2, which would decrease the rate of reaction effectively reducing the production of product C and therefore D as well. As the concentration of product D decreases, its inhibitory effect on enzyme 2 will diminish, and the enzymatic production of product C and D will increase once again. In this more complicated example, substrate A is being transformed into products D and F through two branching paths. If the buildup of product D feeds back to enzyme 2 and inhibits it from working, the concentration of product D should decrease but the blocking of enzyme 2 means that all of B will be converted into product F, meaning we will see an increase in F until the concentration of product D falls, lifting the feedback inhibition on enzyme 2.